video, I'm going to show you how to manipulate wire physics practical alternative B electricity. So you can read through the instructions and get what we are asked to do. But here I have my uh, table. So these are the values of my table, and uh, I have these values here. So in this uh, practical, these values that you have here represent the EMF of the variable DC supply. So if you read through the instruction, we have to obtain the value of V and A. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the internal resistance of this cell. So one of the single cells will have an internal resistance of 1.1. Then when I combine these together, I'm going to multiply this by two. So depending on the number of cells, I just multiply by 1.1. That will give us the internal resistance of each of the different cells. So we'll have this because they are connected in series. So the next thing I have to do, I'm going to use a value of EMF slightly smaller than this. So for this, I'm going to leverage on this uh, formula, I is equal to E over arrow plus arrow. Arrow is this resistant here, and this small arrow are the internal resistance here. So I'm going to use values of EMF that are slightly less than this. So for the first EMF, I'm going to use 1.545 volts for the EMF. And definitely what i'm going to have for this will then be multiple of this so i multiply this by two to get the value for this so that's 2.9 then for the other one i multiply by three i multiply by four and five so these are going to give me the values of the eml so the next thing i have to do for us to find the sum of r plus r so i'm just add this to this this to this this to this this to this and this to this so i get these values for r plus r so these are the values that i get for R plus R for the various EMF. So for EMF 1.5, I get 3.1. For EMF 2.0, I get 4.2 and so on and so forth. So the next thing I have to do is to write this formula. So this formula becomes I equals E all over R plus R. Let's just call that R total. So which are the values that we have here? So I'm going to plug all these values into this, then I'll work out the values and record them here. So what I'm going to do now, the first part is going to be 1.45 divided by 3.1. That's going to give me 0 0.48. So I'm going to record 0 0.48 here. Then I'll then apply this formula now. V is equal to I R. So the current that I obtained here, I'm going to multiply by these two here to get the value of V here. So I'm going to have 0 0.48 times 2, that's going to give me 0 0.94. Then the next one, I'm going to have 2.9 divided by 4.2. So that's going to give me 0 0.69. Then I multiply 0 0.69 by 2 again. Then I'm going to have 1.38. Next, I'm going to divide... 3.35 by 5.3. So that's going to give me 0 0.82. So I'm going to record 0 0.82 here. So record 0 0.82 there. Then I'm going to multiply that by 2 again. And that's going to give me 1.64. Next, I'm going to divide 5.8 by 6.4. That's going to give me 0 0.90. Then when I multiply that by 2, I'm going to get 1.80. Next, I'm going to divide 7.25 by 7.5. Then I'm going to obtain 0 0.97. Then I'll multiply that by 2. I get 1.94. So these are the my values that I, I, have, I, I desire to obtain from here. So what you look at now is this. Look at the trend. You see that? As the EMF increases, this one also increases, and this also increases. So there is a trend, so that works out perfectly fine. So this is a very simple way that you can obtain your result without actually carrying out the experiment. Once again, do not forget to subscribe, share this video, and also make your comment. Some of you guys just watch the video, appreciate it without even subscribing or even sharing your comments. I think the best way you can assist us is to share this video
make your comment and subscribe to our channel see you and good luck to you